you have the target group politicians and policymakers. Now let's have a look at these guys. First, the politicians. Politicians are deciders. If you want to uh, convince them of spending money on your issues, then you basically need to acknowledge with them and you need to show them in your communications that you know that they have to then decide against spending not spending some money in other areas, which is quite complicated and which is very important. So if you want to convince them, you need to acknowledge their predicament. Otherwise, they're never going to listen to you. Secondly, you have the area of policymakers. Now, this one is really a favorite of mine because, for, first of all, policymakers, policy wonks, they're also sometimes called, are by definition people that don't have decision-making powers like the politicians. So they're not really the same at all. They prepare papers, let's say, that go into the policy-making process. Where do these guys sit? Well, ideally, they would be sitting in a line ministry that's actually involved in this sort of legislation policy uh, where your, ta where your, your um, issue is actually related to where it's actually situated. Then, you might have some people that you might want to call lobbyists and so forth. They're trying to influence it. They provide input. They provide resources and so forth to actually implement this white paper process that goes into a policy. So if you want to reach these sort of people, you need to go on in a completely different way than you would do with politicians. That's very important. Now, one more very critical point about this is the concept of influencing this white paper policy making process and talking to policy makers is, is somewhat blindly translated into policy maker communications approach in development cooperation. And this is completely ill-conceived because if you think of it, try to come up with a couple of names, emails of, of, of real people, of real policymakers in some of the development countries. So I'm not talking about China, India and so forth, but talking about real small countries. There is basically no policymakers. You will not find them. And if you look there, because there's simply not that infrastructure. If you really look at this closely, you will find that development agencies are providing the input. They provide the consultants quite often that write the papers. They talk to the ministries and they accept those papers. And quite often they do that because they believe if they accept this, the same agency will come up with another project and actually finance what they propose. So you're finding yourself in a constant loop there and your communications is not going to get out there if you think you can communicate to these people because these people might be some, might be some other people. It might be people from your own project or from another from another agency and uh, that, that let's say you are with the German agency and that's the American agency. We all know who they are. Yeah. So that's, that's actually a weird concept and communication is not going to help you out of that, that funny situation.